Welcome guys, this is Ola from Stop Me Ochan. What I want to discuss with you today is my afterthoughts about that farewell episode that was released just this Monday. I already posted one video with first impressions, sort of, but now I want to discuss something else. A theory of a sort. That theory, it all started when we were sort of streaming, well I was streaming and you guys were commenting and we were discussing farewell episodes. Some of us had that theory and it created itself during that stream. It's about the voice message that Max left to call Chloe after the funeral, after she left for Seattle. Now the theory is, it wasn't actually the young Max that recorded that message. It was the older Max, 19 years old Max, who came back in time to record it. So bear with me, we're gonna get to the theory in a second. Two minor announcements I wanna make. First of all, I started a Discord server and as promised. There's already some people there. If you wanna join, there's a link in the description so you can you can join and we can discuss. I think it's like the best way to contact me at the moment, if you wanna. Another announcement, already said it, but if you enjoy the background music that's playing during my videos, it's actually Lorenzo Tonelli who covered and recorded those and he started a YouTube channel of his own. So there's a link in the description for that as well. Now back to the theory. As I said, it's not just me going sort of crazy with that message. There's more of us thinking the same thing. It was actually the grown up Max. Now, how would that even happen? We know that Max can time travel. We know that she can sort of mess up things, butterfly effect wise, uh, if she does something wrong or if she actually changes things. Like the time when she went back to save William and she actually ended up paralyzing Chloe. Then she had to go back again to sort of let William die and but leave Chloe safe and healthy. She messed it up because she changed so many things. Now in this case, I don't think she's changing a lot of things. That message, it doesn't change anything rather than Chloe's emotional state, so to speak. We know that when she went back in time, she drew a small butterfly on that fireplace that I actually failed to see during my stream, but you guys were more careful when you saw it. It sort of appeared and then it disappeared. Now to me, and not only to me, but to some other people, it's a sign of the fact that alternate realities an alternate timeline does exist in life is strange. So depending on your choices, it just goes separate ways. And it's endless, obviously. It's not just life is strange theory, it's just a general theory going on. Stephen Hawking's theory about alternate realities. And they're like endless and countless. So we saw that butterfly. Frost actually posted a video about it. You can check it out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description as well. You can see it right now. It's just all a sign of time travel being indicated in that particular farewell episode. It was just about kids. It was about saying goodbye to them. It was about saying goodbye to Chloe, playing as Max. It was about saying goodbye to William. Why would they indicate time travel? Why would they indicate time capsule as well? And that butterfly. We know that that very day, older Max was there anyway. She visited to sort of save William. Then she left. Now the first thing that made me realize that this could actually be older Max recording that message was the voice. It was just not really clear and then it turned clear halfway through the message. Because I know this was the absolute worst time for me to go. I thought maybe if you heard my voice, it could be a little bit like I was there. So yeah, we, we all noticed the change. They were trying to go from recorded voice to actual Max, to sort of, I guess, in artistic matter to show us that it's actually Max telling these things to Chloe, like she is there, but she is not. The thing is that voice really sounded like adults Max's voice. It didn't sound like the young Max's voice. That's the first thing. Now the actual question is why would she do it and when? And I have some answers for that. Max going back in time to tell those things to Chloe could only happen in one scenario, and that's the sacrifice Chloe scenario. Think about it, if Max sacrifices Chloe, then that damned funeral 
That's the last time Max and Chloe see each other. Chloe doesn't even know that Max came back. They, they don't get to meet. None of that happened. None of Life is Strange happened. Then Max sacrificed Chloe. Sort of. It's just, I think it's too much of a guilt. I wouldn't be able to live with that guilt. Max went back in time and she knew that she couldn't really change a lot of things because of that William lesson. She knew that she cannot really mess it up. She can still do stuff in the past, not really changing much, being the tape recorder thing. Max went back in time to tell Chloe that she loved her, that she cared for her. I know that I judged Max for not ever, ever calling Chloe, contacting her. But I'm being less judging right now, I suppose. Probably she had her reasons. I don't know what reasons, but she probably had some. Post-funeral, Max went back in time to the day of William's funeral. She knew that Chloe and Joyce and everyone would be at the funeral. So she knew that she can sort of sneak into the house, get that tape recorder and record that message and leave it for Chloe to hear. She knew, she knew that she failed Chloe in so many ways. She knew that she cannot really change a lot to not mess everything up again. So she figured that the only thing that she can do is just go back, record that message and tell Chloe that she loved her. Now here's where it gets interesting. I thought that the proof that it actually happened, that Max went back in time to record that, is the fact that Chloe said the same things as Max on that cliff. Or the other way around. Max said the same things than Chloe. So I think it was, I will always love you and we'll always be together. Those two things. My initial idea was that Max picked those words because she heard them from Chloe recently on that cliff. But then I realized it's actually the other way around. Chloe said those things on the cliff because she remembered them, those exact words, from that voice recorder. Do you see what I mean? It's creating an endless loop, sort of. Max tells those things to Chloe on that voice recorder, then Chloe repeats them on that cliff so that Max can hear them go back in time and tell her again on that voice recorder. It's an endless loop that doesn't really mess anything up. I'll always love you. Now get out of here, please. Now to me, this means one thing. It means that they were really meant to be together and it was destiny that brought them together. You're I'll always, always be with together. you. Okay. Forever. Even when we're apart. It'll be very interesting to find out if that's true. Although we will never know. Except that I'm choosing to believe that this is what happened. Max was broken after Chloe's death and she wanted to fix that one last thing and just tell Chloe that she loved her. She couldn't do it otherwise because in that scenario Chloe had to die. So she did that one thing. The only thing that bothers me is that why would adult Max tell Chloe that they're going to keep in touch constantly knowing that she never actually did, that they never actually spoke to each other again. Now this is the one flaw in that theory. But maybe she just did it to sort of keep Chloe's hopes up, I suppose. Now William did call that voice recorder a time capsule, among other things. I think this is a hint. I think this was meant to be suggested. I think it's not an accident that it's not just me that thought it. It's so many of us. So many of us said the same thing during that stream, that it was actually adult Max. It's pretty cool. Obviously, I don't really want to get into the canon thing or non-canon. As I said before, it's this game feels very personal to each person. So I'm going to assume that this is what happened. Not in my gameplay though. In my gameplay, Max, after saving Chloe, she has her whole life to prove to her that she cares about her. And that's pretty much it. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me what you think about those alternate realities. I'm going to read your comments and then perhaps make another video on that subject. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, there's this bell thing. So if you want to get notified when I make a new video, just, you know, remember to click that. This was Olaf from Stop Me Off Channel. Bye, guys.